true freedom right here. Sarasota Tim, everybody. Up here north of Las Cruces, heading towards Albuquerque on Interstate 25. Absolutely amazing. My attitude changed yesterday, and now it's gone up another notch today. I started out my day excellent. I'm a little late on getting videos. I was uh, internet challenged when I left Las Cruces out here in the middle of nowhere. Who knows what time you'll be seeing this because, look, not many cell phone towers around. <laughs> but look over there. I know yesterday you guys were complaining that you wanted to see the scenery, so I'm going to try and bring you some today. Now you got to see what I'm looking at in front of me now. Not that FedEx truck. <laughs> Not him. Come on, get out of the way. Ah, I'm going down the hill already. Look at that. See that mountain over there in the far distance? The people living out there. Look at it. It's brown, not green. No trees, no palm trees. Brown, baby. And we're in New Mexico. When we get to Arizona, we're going to see rock and cactus. There's a cowboy cactus. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This freeway is smooth as a baby's rear end. Not a million people. This is why I don't want to stay in one spot. I, I love driving. I love driving and seeing this. And the scenery, it changes around every turn. Look at these people over here. They're here every day. You gotta come out here, folks. New Mexico is amazing. And we haven't even gotten to the northern part. I'm on the 40 there, Albuquerque. That's a beautiful town. There's actually a town in Albuquerque on this freeway, 25. I mean, it's only if five miles would be a long ways, up 25 from the 40, I forget the name of the town, you get off and you will not believe how the houses are built on the view, uh, they're all, they all have a view, uh, they all look beautiful, uh, the neighborhoods are all like new, I guess it's expensive too, who knows, but I went through there on my way to Moab and I remember saying to myself, man, I could live here, I could live here. This guy here's got a little ranch, a little corral. I gotta find some cowboy boots. I really do. I'm sure I'll see a, a place that says Western wear. I can <laughs> obviously Google it. I'll get a pair. I bought a pair of alligators and some rattlers, uh, some snake skin boots when I was much younger and I lived in Charlotte and I had my advertising business. I was doing really well. I spent, I think it was 350 for the uh, snake boots. I always wanted ostrich. I never got those. And then I spent 500 bucks on some gator boots. They were black, uh, gator tail. And depending on what part of the tail, some of those gator boots don't look that good. They've got like that raised fin uh, down on the toe and on the top of the boot. I had a very nice looking style. 
uh, and they were beautiful. 500 bucks I gave for them. And then I stopped wearing them. The snakeskin boots were like wearing socks. They were very comfortable. The gaiters, uh, that pointy, they were a pointy toe. That's when I decided I would never buy the pointy toe cowboy boot again. They look very cowboyish, but they come in pointy and it, 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 it hurts your feet. People lie. They say, oh, this is the most comfortable shoes in the world. Baloney. <laughs> A snake skin would be. Who's calling me? Somebody's calling. Me. 